I got a good sign. I came here actually to support everybody, support basically the, the 40 cities, over, excuse me, over 400 cities today are actually protesting, demonstrating against what's happening in this unprecedented ever uh, action I'm going to take against a nation. And it's not a war, I call it, I call it a slaughter, unfortunately. And I'm here to really give courage to the congressmen to come out and speak out, because there's only a few of them. The Ron, the Ron Paul from Texas, you got Robert Byrd from Virginia, uh, Tom Daschle, what about all the rest of the 100 representatives who are not coming out and speaking? And you, when you have over 400 cities demonstrating and you have several cities around the world demonstrating today, people should be, our Congress, our representatives should be listening to what the constituents are saying. <laughs> I believe it's all about oil. But that's not what the media says. That's the lie they want you to believe. But it seems like a lot of Americans are going for that lie. Why do you think Okay, that Korea is? say they got weapons of mass destruction. Okay? And what it's about something that Bush's father didn't finish. And Bush wants to finish it. So it doesn't have anything to do with weapons of mass destruction? No, it doesn't. And that's what they want us to believe. Why is it that you came out? Uh, we came out because we feel very strongly about this, very passionately about this, uh, and we don't feel like we can sit home and let somebody else speak for us. So we wanted to be a part of this peacefully, as we think that this um, this whole situation should be handled peacefully um, and not the way that it's being handled right now by President Biden. Um, I work as a physician in Salida and the more I learn about this, the more I realize that it just violates everything I stand for. When I read about, when I read accounts from people that are on the ground in Iraq, people like Physicians Without Borders and Physicians for Social Responsibility and the people from um, Voices in the Wilderness, I mean, this is a public health catastrophe that's only going to get worse. And, you know, I, I have a hard time believing that that they have much of a military capability when we've flown over 100,000 military sorties in there and they've not shot down one airplane.
the, the distortion is that, yes, that the mainstream media is giving the message that we're ready for war. It's not no war, it's either war now or is it a little bit later. The message of no war at all, that possibility, is not brought out in the media. That because they are owned by companies that make weapons for, um, for the, our government. Westinghouse and GE own our media. So why do so many people trust the media? They don't know that there are options. It's easy to be a blind sheep. Democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like.